Always a favorite to come out down here to the state of Victoria to enjoy the city of Melbourne, to drive about an hour, hour and a half to the surf coast and check out Winky Pop and Bells for the Big Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach presented by Bonsoir. One of those shapers that's making equipment for half the tour. It's a, a pretty personal relationship for the championship tour as we look at this wave. Yeah, Gab's just down the line streaking, getting to this uh, little moment down here. Quick snap and then gets to the final finish. Calendar as we've got Cole Hausman, the rookie on tour from San Clemente with his hands full against the three-time world champ and his hero on tour. Finishing off his wave there, his best so far. He had two looks during the break. Just really slams the door shut. And here we go, Cole. Nice extension on the opening turn there. Gets the second and a third. Little disjointed here. Lost a little bit of speed and flow before that final hit against this man who is absolutely flying nice stretched out wall with a close out oh. section for the backhand air reverse and that one medina can't ride out of hey kaipo we've got medina up we'll check in with you in a moment as we have him going through another top turn wrap gabriel throwing a vertical and Gets the completion, the 1.0 is gone, and this was uh, what you predicted, Rich, without priority. He's one of the most dangerous guys to watch on tour. Great way to finish off, and this is Gabrielle under priority here. Clean snap. Small way, but just get some beautiful work done, and that uh, that closeout re-entry was the money turn. Now watching Medina just throw a nice little float to start, bashing it off the lip. Nice little speed carve to cover some ground, hammering it again. Now looking for a big wind up and a solid, powerful finish. We'll get back to a uh, little replay here. Medina starts off with a little rock and roll float up, quick snap down the line. Third turn, more spray. Now he gets a bit more acute with the angles. Streaking down the line, setting this last turn up. Off those final uh, hits, Medina in this heat, been something special. So this was uh, Cole's last wave, streaking down the line, little floater projection to get to these, uh, well, just rapid fire backhand turns. Five, six, probably seven turns on that wave. 19 on the clock, priority with Medina to roll into this glassy right-hander. Already through his first turn, backhand float with some spice on it, out in front, crushes the lip, back to a rooftop float again. Looking super smooth, pacing his way down the line with a lot of majors as he steps off. Their exchange before was probably both of their best performances so far. Still yet to lock into the screen. More than a five, then a six. Now a seven, Rich. Yeah, he's got the seven. You can see he's winding up here. Again, another little rock and roll floater projecting down the line and again. This is what I was talking about, this variety, even on the backhand. He's not just doing the one turn the whole time. And, geez, those finish manoeuvres have just been so strong for Gabrielle. And, uh, well, I've, uh, in the last 12 months, Gabrielle's really committed to riding an extra-large fin now too, Joe. And he's one of the only, if not the only, surfer on tour. Uh, most of our uh, competitors riding a large size fin. Gabriel's, uh, he actually switches it up. He's got extra large fins on the side and a, and a large in the back. So he gets all that drive and acceleration uh, off those side fins. And then uh, with the large in the back, he gets that sort of pivot and release off the tail exactly there. It doesn't get stuck. He can control it. And uh, you can see here, just a little rock and roll floater here. A little shimmy down the line. And then watch him get on that heel side rail, gets that deep bottom turn. So strong, man. This guy trains the house down and just manipulates that board with ease. 7.10 for Gabriel Medina, and it seems fairly common to hear. Sort of the opposite to what you'd think. In bigger waves, when you're taking a longer board, you, you generally go down in size because the board's actually doing more work for you. Nice snap to kick things off for Gabriel Medina. Really jamming down the line, ramping up, and how about that? Landing on the tail. Still fighting for the finish. He'll get it. Incredible. Looks like Cole's going to answer back right now. Good man, Kaipo. As we see this, Medina just seeing a big ramp opportunity, going for it. 
the full rotation, had to really fight for the finish there, Rich. Yeah, he did, uh, but that's all the strength, all the training. It comes into play right at these moments. That core strength, that lower leg strength, he's able to just bring his body back over his board here. Good rotation. Pretty much goes the full uh, 360 degrees. Lands with the tail firmly uh, planted in the nose, pointing towards the shore. Gabrielle, slight adjustment, stands tall, shows the judges, little finger click. He liked it. And that angle from the water was massive. This is what Cole just did as we saw that replay. Okay, so this needed to be a comeback wave. Cole Hausman blasting down the line. That's a better one. More tail release. And again, more power and flow in this wave. Just dying out a little bit on the inside, but Jeezy got some good work done through the midsection. He'll get this last finishing turn. And then he gives us the finger click as well. So great snap to start off. Reads the way perfectly to this point, and I really like these two turn combinations in the middle here, Joe. Gets some variety, starts to show us uh, a little bit more. The unfortunate thing is, is that uh, the wave didn't quite stand up enough on the inside, so the judges will show a little bit of restraint in their score given that, that there wasn't that big final exclamation point. But check that out. The tail release controls it perfectly, goes straight onto the bottom turn again. And to call up a legend like Andy King, it was a huge moment for the coach. Oh! As we see the first fall from Medina after the fall from the sky and the air attempt, but just a slip on what looked kind of like a routine start for the Mets. Round of 32 has two goofy foots going for it. A rookie and a three-time world champ. Hauschman up now. Throwing some water. Perfect transition as he hammers it again. Belting the lip line right in the pocket as hard as he can. With finesse to right away. His final turn. Solid and stepping up. Medina's behind him, though. First snap there. Little drift off the roof. Belts it vertically. Well-placed turn from Gabriel. Now whips it and goes down right in front of Cole. It was almost looking like he was trying to get the completion and then get a jump start on priority very quickly there, Rick. Gabriel Medina on the backhand here. Just seems to be accelerating out of those turns with a little bit more speed. And watch here. Gabriel sort of puts that last turn up, sees Cole, and goes, no, nah, I'm out of here. Considering is that one of the highest profile athletes on tour, Cole Hausman, important wave, big fan of spray, Whoa. belts it again with a slide. Putting a lot into every maneuver, needs a 6.98 under priority as he shuts it down. <laughs> oh, wow. He's asked the question. And on how he handled this situation. So he's just done a Medina on him. He's taken the inside, found this wave, that second turn there where he blasts it, gets the little drift. Has that little slide and fin release. They're those little intricacies that the judges pick up on. Surfing in earnest on this one. Look at the spray there. Right, just basically showers Medina. Incredible surfing there from Cole House. This is a massive heat for him. He, like you were saying, Joe, he needs this. He needs this to climb up the ratings. Gabriel kind of needs it to, to uh, you know, get up into that top five and keep himself solidified in that area. Well, we'll hear from Cole shortly, but right now let's hear from Gabriel Medina. He's with Laura. Yeah, tough end to the heat there, Gabby, for you. I'm sure you're very disappointed. A big mistake there, letting that wave go under priority. Talk us through it. I did the mistake. <laughs> uh, this is funny. Uh, this is the worst judgment I've ever seen. But uh, it's bad for the sport, you know. Uh, I know we travel. I've been through a lot of judging things, but maybe I feel like this is the worst one. Uh, but it's something that we got to talk about. We pretend that it's not happening. It's it's happening, you know. It's it's bad for the sport, and uh, I just hopefully it can improve and get better. Uh, hopefully they listen more to us, you know. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. It's it's happening. And your take on that is that the wave was far too small. Oh uh, yeah, those they gave me the best wave of the heat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and the the last wave was pretty small. I didn't even paddle, uh, but. Yeah, uh, I'm going to try to focus on my surfing, but this is sad. Uh, yeah, you know, like so much traveling, so much in the line, we travel, we, we go far. Uh, our family's uh, back home, uh, we, tra uh, we train a lot, and uh, 
yeah, I just feel bad, you know, it's, it sucks, but it is what it is. All right, we'll see you over in Margaret River. I'm sure you'll come back stronger. Wow. Gabriel Medina, clearly frustrated. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a funny one. Difficult. I, I mean, from Gabby's perspective, obviously feels pretty strongly there, but, but also you've got to remember he's eyes on the horizon. He, he doesn't even really know what Cole did on that wave yet, so mm. he's got to go back and digest that. Um, but, yeah, obviously a disappointing result. It was a huge backside rotation that he threw down. There's always going to be those comparisons made. How do the, the combinations uh, of multiple manoeuvres and clean flow stack up against one big individual turn? And, and he felt like he had the edge. Annabar. Yes, guys, down here with Cole. That was such an important heat for Cole. Crazy end to the heat there. You know, you chipped away at Gabby that whole heat. You went that wave under priority at the end and you absolutely shredded it to get the score. Talk us through it and what that wave looked like coming to you and, and how surprised you were that he didn't go. Um, yeah, I was, he was sitting inside me, so I knew he was gonna either try to burn me on a good one or just take whatever wave from me. But um, I saw it coming and it kind of broke pretty far out in the sense it wasn't like the biggest wave, but it broke far out. And I was like, okay, I might as well go and do a turn before he can go and then see if he goes or not. And I went and I did the, I did the first turn, he didn't go, so I, Second turn hit in, it was my best turn of the wave. And then at that point, there I knew there was only like two minutes left. So I was like, I might as well surf the rest of the wave and it had to get inside to it. So um, right off the bat, the wave didn't look good. And then it kind of just stood up and I surfed it. I mean, I was under priority, so I kind of had no choice but to go. And he was kind of doing that to you all, heat catching waves under priority and turning them into something. Uh, what was your approach going out there against Gabby, knowing he's just so deadly? Um, yeah, he's probably one of the smartest competitors on the planet, and um, yeah, it was interesting because out there you you don't know. Sometimes the first wave of the set's best, sometimes the second one is, and he kept going under me, and he'd go on the first one, then he'd get a better score, and then next set I'd go on the first one, and then he'd, the second one would be better. So I I, just, I had no idea, and he was just staying really busy, and um, yeah, I just try to stick to my game plan and um, try to kind of just pick the eyes out of the wave, but it's so tricky out there. And, uh, yeah, it was a fun heat. Honestly, I was just going to go out there and try to do my best surfing and um, have fun with it. And, you know, this has been a tough start to the year for you. You're down in the rankings. You really needed this result. How, how was your approach coming into this event? Were you just focusing on trying to do your best surfing or you just want to be up, up the top? Um, yeah, it's a weird mindset because you don't want to stress on the cut because then it just makes your life harder. And then you also, you just want to enjoy it and kind of like... Love you, Hal. Love you. This guy's helped a lot, too, so... I'm going to go get ready. All right, good luck. Um, yeah, I mean, he's helped me have a good mindset just on like, hey, you're on tour, enjoy it. You know, this is what people dream of. And um, I kind of was telling myself, like, each heat is a heat to make the cut, you know, and that was a big heat for me to make the cut, um, leading on to bigger results. And, yeah, I'm just trying to enjoy it. For me, that heat was like, that heat was more of a dream than even winning a comp or a title or something right now. Because, I mean, you guys saw the interview. I was like 10, 11 years old talking about how Gabby is my favorite surfer. So um, just to have a heat with someone like that at the highest level is, um, is a dream for me. And to come out on top is another check on the box. So, yeah, just taking it heat by heat and try not to stress. <laughs> I've got to put the mic down because my arm hurts, but thank you, Cole. <laughs> uh, good luck into the next round. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. They're the same arms that Give paddle in this moment, Laura. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> they're the same arms that paddle into, like, 45-foot waves uh, as well. Yeah. 